New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. I was in Harbor Freight earlier today and I heard one of the customers conversing with an employee and they were talking about how this particular spot welder works. And listening to this conversation, I realized that, uh, well, I wanted one too. So I purchased this and we're gonna take a look at it and see how well it works. Inside the box, you're gonna find the spot welder itself. You will find a manual and it comes with two extra electrode tips. Harbor Freight does sell two different flavors of the spot welder. They sell the 120 volt version, which will do up to 1 8 inch steel, but they also sell a 240 volt version, which will weld up to 3 16 inch steel. That's pretty thick, but again, that's 240 volts. Because this one is 120 volts, that means it has a standard 120 volt plug, which is going to make this pretty easy to use in anybody's garage or shop. Operation is pretty simple. Basically, you just clamp the two pieces of metal that you are trying to spot weld between the jaws. You can open it up with the lever on top, tighten it down and hold those two pieces together. Then there is a toggle switch right here. As you're holding pressure on those two pieces, you will throw the switch to the side. That will turn it on and then you will hold it as long as you need to. Then you let go of the switch and that will turn it off. The switch does move the other direction in case you are left-handed. There are a few adjustments that you can make. There is an adjustment up here on the front that allows you to adjust how tight the jaws go together. There's another adjustment right here that allows you to adjust how far the handle goes down. It's a handle stop. My shop is in a little bit of a renovation. I don't have a lot of scrap steel laying around, but I do have a bunch of hose clamps and I think that would be an adequate test for this. I have those hose clamps clamped in between the anodes. We're gonna throw the switch for about a half a second and we'll see how well it mends those two pieces of metal together. So it's about a half a second. Let's take a look at it and see how well it did. As you can see, we melted through these hose clamps. So we held the trigger just a little bit too long. Let's do another one and keep it a little bit shorter. And that seemed to be about the perfect amount of time for these hose clamps. And if I pull on them, I cannot separate that. It's a really good mend and it's gonna hold virtually forever. So as you can see, this could be really handy, even in the automobile industry, when you're trying to put different panels together. It does have six inches of reach with the tongs that are included. And as advertised, it'll weld up to 1 8 inch mild steel. So that could be pretty handy as well. That's pretty thick for a 120 volt unit. So what are my final thoughts? Well, I really like it. At the time of this video, this only cost $169. And as we know with Harbor Freight, you can always find coupons and discounts on their items. I really like the fact that it plugs into a standard outlet because it's the 120 volt version. There have been many times where I really needed a spot welder and well, I found other ways to make it work. But now that I have a spot welder, those jobs will be that much easier. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.